He's running way down the beach. He's running like a pompano almost. Jimmy Ocean, See him. Where you, baby, up with his slow motion crew. And we up in the crawlings when people change, but not us. And we just chillin', kicking it, kiss by. Welcome back to Real Coastal. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, do so now. We're out at Fort Pickens in Pensacola, Florida, enjoying the beautiful weather, the white sandy beaches, and fishing. Let's see what happens this evening with our poles. Well, we were a little delayed in shooting our intro tonight. And uh, literally as soon as Julie was done talking, this pole got hit. And I can see it shaking. It might be a whiting. Is it fighting? I see it. I can see it coming. Swimming like a pompano though. Oh, you were right. Little baby Jack. Getting to know the surface. He's got a little fight left in him. You want Sam? Doop, doop, doop. He's talking to you. <laughs> Tell me, put me back in the water. Literally just threw the pull in. That one I walked out, out a little deeper. Actually walked out to the first sandbar and it as far as I could. How does it feel? You get off? Keep cranking, keep cranking. Maybe a white. I see a fish. Well, that not really the target species. What in the world that is, is that? the biggest lizard fish that I've ever seen. Hey, can we use them as bait? I honestly don't know. Well, let's look it up on the website, see if we can be bait. That is a great, are they, they're not like gonna hurt. No, you can touch them, just he's got a ton of teeth in his mouth. Look how crazy that is. Gross, not what we wanted. But everybody, look at the absolute giant pompano that Julie just caught. It's that thing is an absolute stud. A... Well, at least we know they're here. We literally cannot keep this rod in the water and it gets hit. Oh, I think he got off. Maybe we gotta go out deeper to try to keep it away from these little ones. We don't even have the shrimp on there anymore. It's just fish bites. But it's literally sitting there for about two minutes, not even, and it's getting hit. All right, so we're just getting doubled up all of a sudden. It was very quiet. Julie's hooked up down here on something looks like pretty good how's it feel just keep reeling fast no I think that turtles out past where you're oh, I see it it's coming it's not the turtle that was a big turtle yeah that end one just got hit right as soon as this one did I think that's a remora or another lizard fish. That's a remora. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, geez. This middle one's getting hit. All right, it's been a little nuts here over the last 10 seconds or so. Sorry, I keep kicking the camera on this damn hill. Darn hill. 
see if I can get a better, a little better camera angle. How does it feel? Pretty good. Heavy. Does feel heavy? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Uh, two remoras. Holy cow, I've never seen that before. That is crazy. They must have come through with that turtle. Three remoras in, what, two minutes? Yeah. What did you catch on this pole behind me? That looked like a fish, like a pop an hour. Okay. Oh, it got off? Yeah, it came off because we crossed lines. There we go. Those are crazy. Doubled up on the remoras. I had to shut this camera off for a little bit and start unhooking all these fish. I was getting hit already. Hadn't been out there a minute. Crabs, you think? Something's messing with it. Might be crabs. Yeah. Well, whatever that is you got. A nice one of these is a whitey. Something we can eat. Off. There goes Brent putting another pole in the water after the remora fiasco. I gotta go throw mine in. Sorry about that everybody. I shut the camera off. Didn't know Julie had it on already. Which leads me to believe she might have been filming me throwing the rods out in the water. Yeah. Which means she's in huge trouble when we get home. We got... Is that a whiting? Oh yeah, a little whiting. Not really big enough to eat, but... I literally threw it in. Later. That's what we got. We'll get him undone. All right, gang. See this guy right here? Right uh, there. I kept that whiting that Julie caught a little bit ago, and I was going to use him as cut bait, try and get a red or maybe a shark or something else. But as we were catching this last fish, he decided he wanted it for dinner. Daggum Fred. Can't leave my stuff alone. Sound Fred is way nicer than Surf Fred. That's all I'm going to say. A lot more calm. They don't come right up to you and steal your stuff. Less and more. Is he on? He's on there. Help. I'm going to move one of them other rods down here. We cannot keep this in the water. Is he fighting hard? That looks like a whiting. Double whitings. Oh, look at that. These are ours. You don't get these, Fred. They belong to us. Definitely need a more move the pose. 
Yeah, I'm gonna bring one of them down here right now. I'm not gonna complain, but we can't keep our rods in the water at the moment. Either a schools or something, or just a lot of whiting in here right now. Get some eater sized ones. Do you feel better? Yeah. That's a heavier setup, too. He's running way down the beach. He's running like a pompano almost. I see him. Oh, it's a nice pomp. Oh, it's a bluefish. Bluefish. Big bluefish. Man, we're getting all sorts of crazy stuff tonight. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty guy. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Actually, it's a blue runner, not a bluefish. Probably the biggest blue runner I've ever seen, I think. I don't know. Somebody leave a comment down below. I think it's a blue runner. Bluefish or blue runner? I don't guess. I look. Leave a comment below. Did he get off? Ooh. That one. That one. That one. He's on. He's on. Over there, fish on, fish on. All right. That one's filming you. You're still on? Nothing that came off. There we go. Where's all the big fish at tonight? Whew. Man, this surf fishing, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of like non-stop running. Crazy. Gonna need a Snickers bar soon. Need something. French just got it a hit. Does it feel good? Ooh, Another whiting. That looks like sandwich meat whiting. Not a bad night for the whitings. Nice. Good job. Love the doubling it up. Still on? Oh, it's a little another little whiting. Man, they are thick tonight. All sorts of little babies. Woo. It is utter chaos tonight. I literally can't keep a rod in the water. I mean, it's good. Oh, go up over him. This end one's getting hit. Too. He literally just threw that pole, pole in. What'd you get, Brent? Thanks, Jack. Oh, nice. Another little Jack. Good grief. Jack and Whitings is the theme of the night. Is it? Gonna do a little test here. 
Julie's gonna walk this out. She's gonna throw it out into the water. And we're gonna see how long it takes for it to get hit. It's been about 10 seconds once she gets it in the rod holder. I'm back up a little bit so we can see the pole. Just that quick. Is he on? <laughs> Feels like a little bit better, yeah. I can't see. Oh, whiting. Another baby whiting. Good grief. That's got to be 20 at least. Maybe one more here at the end of the night. It's actually bending the rod pretty good. Oh, it's because there's two of them on it. Again. 